Hey there everyone, this is Ray Carcillo, and today we are looking at a game on the PlayStation Network called Eat Them, developed by Fluffy Logic and published by Sony. Don't let the title of this game misconceive you, this isn't some fat princess wannabe. In fact, eating is probably one of the more minor aspects of this game. No, this game is really all about one thing and one thing only. Unbridled Destruction. The game opens with a random corporation looking to help mankind as they unveil their latest project. A 100-foot monster whose sole purpose is to help construction crews by demolishing buildings faster than a wrecking ball ever could. Unfortunately, an evil mad scientist has taken over the limited mind of this monstrous being and turned it into nothing but an agent of pure chaos that will forward his objectives to rule the world! The first thing you'll think of when you play Eat Them is that this is really nothing more than a modern remake of Rampage, and then instead of being a human turned monster, you're just a test tube monster. Your objective is simply to wander around random areas of cities laid out before you, and fulfill a series of missions that will forward the plot of the Mad Scientist scheme. Aside from a nice variety to the 9 main story missions, the 50 plus sub-missions that you must complete in order to advance to the next story chapter are very repetitive. But you won't really notice too much as most of them involve destroying as many buildings and eating as many citizens to help keep your beast powered up as possible. And the more destruction you do, the more new monster parts you unlock. That's right, one of the key aspects of this game is that you can customize your own monster and unlock weapons and new body parts that will power him up into a truly horrific and grotesque creature. From machine guns for arms to mortar launching backpacks, the weapons you can add to your creature will make you into an ultimate being of destruction in no time. You can even customize your creature's name and scale and body color. So monster customization with random chaos and destruction, all wrapped up in a cheesy comic book plot that looks great being cel shaded by the way. So what else could you need? How about some competitive multiplayer where you and some friends can try to one-up each other's chaos causing score? Yes, Eat Them features a four-player local multiplayer mode so that once you make it through the seven to eight hour story mode and collect all possible body parts for your monsters, you can take your custom creations and go against friends as you try to prove yourself as the true king of the monsters. Mind you, there are a couple of down points to this game aside from the repetitive missions. The camera, unlike the side-scrolling rampage, has more of an eye-in-the-sky roaming camera, which often gets caught behind skyscrapers that are just past the borders of your destructible area, and therefore, you often can't see what you're smashing near the southern borders of the city. Also, the music, like the missions, is very repetitive, and this I can't be as forgiving on because you'll end up muting your TV about 10 missions in, especially since there's no voiceover work whatsoever. These minor complaints aside, if you're looking for a reason to just cause some random chaos or have a craving for some old-school Rampage action, then eat them as a solid way to drop $10 into the PlayStation Store, and will take more time to beat than any typical downloadable title out there, especially as you mix and match weapons and creature parts to try to top you and your friend's high score. 